Week of Trinity 6, Tuesday, Living, Dying, and Living in the Peace of God. In this you have done foolishly. Therefore, from now on, you shall have wars. Then Asa was angry with the seer, and put him in prison, for he was enraged at him because of this. And Asa oppressed some of the people at that time. Second Chronicles 16, 9b-10 through 10. Dear Redeemed, Hanani the seer was put into prison because he proclaimed the word of God to King Asa, declaring that the king had sinned by not trusting in the Lord God. In addition, the king would suffer the consequences of his impenitence. The anger of Asa spewed forth, and Hanani was locked up. Like the seer, John the Baptist had been bound and thrown into prison because of the prophet's proclamation that Herod was sinning because he had taken Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. The adulteress would have had John killed on the spot. Herod would have done so had he not feared John and feared the people. So Herodias, filled with cruelty and spite, waited. But an opportune day came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a feast for his noble high officials and the leading men of Galilee. And when Herodias and when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she pleased Herod and those who sat with him. The king said to the girl, Ask whatever you want, and I will give it to you. He also swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give to you up to half of my kingdom. So she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. Mark 6, verses 21 through 24. This account has many examples of the consequences when impenitent sin is given free reign. We will ponder several of them, which, when connected, fulfilled the devilish desires of Herodias. When sin touches sex, there is lust and perversion. Herod was committing adultery with Herodias, and is now pleased with her dancing daughter. When sin touches pride, there is the exercise of power, and the making of boisterous promises. Herod invites the rich and powerful to honor him at his birthday party. After Salome's dance ignited the king's desire, he vowed to give her whatever she desired, even up to half of his kingdom. When sin touches a daughter's obedience, the satanic counsels are sought. What shall I ask? When simmering sin is given free course and the opportunity for revenge is at hand, the answer of man goes forth, the head of John the Baptist. What would Herod do? You already know the answer. These events unfold in the unbelieving house of Herod, where the peace of God has no home in this worldly palace. John the Baptist remains in prison. He is unaware of the specifics, but knows fully well that his end may come at any moment. O oh, dearly beloved of God, do not fear those who can only kill the body. These are not able to destroy your soul, which is hid with God in Christ. What can man do unto you? O oh, dear Son of God, follower of Christ, heir of heaven, whether you live or whether you die, you belong to the Lord. If this is your last day on this earth and in this life, it is also your day in paradise and eternal life. O oh, dear ransomed, fear not, for Christ has redeemed you. He has called you by name. You are his. By grace, through faith in Jesus, you are forgiven of all sins. You may live in Christ's grace, and you may depart in his peace. Prayer Lord Jesus, I know not my last day in this world. You know it, and have promised to be with me always, even to the end of my life. I know not what devilish schemes, treacherous plans, or deadly diseases are unfolding apart from me, or from within me, in order to wring my body. You know them all, and have declared that nothing shall be able to separate me from you. Lord, amidst the trials, pains, temptations, and sufferings I may be called on to endure, abide with me, and grant me the strength I need. Amen. Hymn number 504 In weariness and pain, by sins and fears oppressed, I turn me to my rest again, my soul's eternal rest. The Lamb that died for me, and still my load doth bear, 
To Jesus' streaming wounds I flee, and find my quiet there. Jesus, was ever grief, was ever love like thine? Thy sorrow, Lord, is my relief, thy life hath ransomed mine. O may I rise with thee, and soar to things above, and spend a blessed eternity in praise of dying love.